Okay, welcome back guys with part 3. I want to show you how to use your Revolve tool. I'm going to open up a new drawing, but I'm going to go back to what we had before to be able to show you how to do it in 3D as well. I'm going to sketch on my XY plane. Uh, Revolve works like this. Let's say for instance we're drawing a circle and another one and I'm going to quickly trim and this is the object that needs to be revolved what you're going to do is you're actually going to draw a line which will be your axis it's going to revolve around so I'm clicking and I'm clicking R for revolve but before I do that always remember to dimension your drawings let's make that 10 and make that 7 and then there must be a distance from one point to the revolving axis. This is going to be your radius at which your axis is going to revolve, which will ultimately become 60. I'm going to make the radius 30. It will ultimately become 60. So I'm going to press R for revolve. That's your geometry. It's already selected. And then I'm going to click on my axis. And that's exactly what happens. It gives you a shape that revolves around the radius. Okay, so whichever shape you have drawn, let's do this quickly and just dimension this. Let's call it 20 and let's trim this. That's what I want right R for revolve it's already selected don't click it and just go click on your axis dependent on which inventor version you can see how it changes as your shape changes your revolve will look different okay let's try something else very quickly here let's redo to get my axis back home uh, click on front again and let's go and do something which is a little bit different I'm going to click on spline and I'm just this is just for me to be able to to get this thing right okay and let's say like that okay and I am happy with that now I'm going to use offset. Offset will double up your line. Click on offset. And I'm going to say, okay, um, let's give it a dimension here. The distance between the two. Let's say we make it three millimeters. Okay. Okay, I'm going to just do something here quickly. Line, where's my line function? Just looking for my line function. Oh, there we go. I'm drawing a vertical line there. Escape, enter. Another vertical line there. And I'm closing it up. Escape. I'm going to the bottom. And I think I'm happy with this, but I'm just going to extend it a little bit. Say about 14 millimeters. And now I'm going to put in an axis to revolve. There's my line. I want to put in an, an axis here. And I want this axis to be from this point to the 20 millimeters. Now watch what happens. If I say R for revolve, it's not closed. It needs to be closed. We need the shape to be 
absolutely closed. So it seems we're having a little bit of a problem. Let's say escape quickly. Just make sure it passes everywhere to see if it's closed. I'm clicking there and there it's closed at that point. Let's see if it was that one little point, R for revolve. Yeah, it's, a, it's closed. Right, I'm going to click on my axis now. And there we go. Okay. Now that right there, it's a little bit of a strange object, shampoo, bottle, whatever you want to call it. Okay, there you go. That is what your revolve feature does. You can draw shapes and revolve it and it will be a complete shape. Okay, I'm going to close that. Let's just save it. Save. And let's go look at this. I want to put a revolve on this object there. So I'm going to go to sketch. You can go and sketch again and this will become your sketching surface. So I'm going to click on there and that becomes my sketch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put down two more circles from the center there, outward to there, and from there to there, so that I can revolve that object. But now I need a radius where this object will revolve around. So I'm going to draw myself a line next to it, the revolving axis, escape, and I'm going to put in a dimension. So the radius of revolve will be 40. It will be 40. Let's just delete this quickly. Let's just say R for revolve, if it will work. No, there's nothing to select. Let's put down our circles. Circle number one. In the center, make sure you touch, touch, touches properly. Then I'm going to go for circle number two. Click on there, going out up till there, and I'm going to press R for revolve now. There's my feature. There's my axis. I'm going to go click on the the axis, and there we are. And OK. Now oh, that's my feature. That's where it has revolved. I also can come here. Let's say I'm going to go to sketch. And I'm going to sketch on this round face there. Let me put down my circles first. Circle number one. Make sure it connects. And circle number two. And I'm going to put down an axis. Let's say my axis will be here. And I'm going to click R for Revolve. There's my shape. There's my axis. I'm going to click there just to get my axis and say OK. You can now see that it has revolved in this shape. OK. That there is the revolving function. Thank you very much.